Yeah, if you're just tuning right in right now, the show is Entertainment Friday. Kuna mi empa tasheka inadipliesa. Na leo tunataka kujifunza mambo mbili tatu kuhusu uh, influencing as a career. Na tuko na baba Talisha ina the building bana. Welcome bana. Asante sana. Chukua uzito. <laughs> unaweza unaweza tu kuanza na introduction tu uh, majina ya serikali in case mtu anataka ku reach on, a, on, a, on, a, on an official level. Okay, so kwa majina yangu official ni mm -hmm. Faustin Lipupu Lukale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, nilikuwa graduate shule ya eh? ala <laughs> ya nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa msimu gani public health okay do me sound okay for for eh ilikuwa some 2 years back yeah. ah okay yeah so nilimaliza ku nil graduate 18th of december 2020 yeah. mm -hmm. so i was doing bachelor of science in uh, health records and information management wow yeah uh, is this uh, uh, did you are you doing something uh, that is related to your major? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I'm a photographer and a videographer, yeah? uh -huh. and also a social media um, influencer. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm uh -huh. social media too. Uh -huh. And I'm also a father above that. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so maybe le, le, tuonge, tu, tuonge le tu the journey, uh, I'm at the transition uh, from uh, to a uh, was social records, social sciences records, <laughs> so your, your, your career yako na influencer, how did you transition from your career into influencing? Okay, so, kila mtu kimaliza shule ya, muna kwa nganile ya hope ya kupata job ya. So, the thing that happened is, it was an unfortunate event ya. I was not a social media person ile kukua like kila time. So, the same same year that I graduated, we really got a very bad road accident. Just up at KU bad, yeah? Okay. Just opposite you get your KU to happen. Oh, you're yeah? saying yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so I lost the mom to my kid. Oh, and my kid was left in the ICU. Either. So he yeah, only survived in a mimo, no, no? Mm -hmm. But the mom, Ali Bakipale, Ali Bakitopo kwa barabara, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is how the story went on and people knew about the whole story, yeah? Mm -hmm. So through that, I've been struggling with my baby, yeah? since 2020 until right now bado anasimkana kidogo kutembea kuongea vitu kama hizo but then through that eh uh, nikaamua juu job bado haikuwa bro eh job haiko mimi nimeza actually graduate like graduate, like graduate to don eh so after that um, nikona why can't i document everything happening right now to inspire somebody eh? because someday kuna msa anaweza kuwa constitution kama hii aone ni kama mwisho wake unaona but if anaweza ona jani ya mtoto wangu na mimi mwenyewe hizo shida zote nimepitia atapata motisha that person will be motivated yeah. and inspired yeah? so that is what i started doing every day when nilikuwa naenda hosi tikipeleka mtu with therapy and so that is how i documented all those things talishas milestone journey because when the baby before to pata the rodax in alikuwa poor tu unaona Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden now, complications. Yeah, and then now, pia mi ni kaje kapala sa father figure too. Isi kuna hala wasi ingine ma boys uneza pata um, pata shida kama iyo mazi. Una, 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 una sare story za mtu hii, mm -hmm. una ingine to depression. Especially depression. Uh, depression na mental health na kwa mbaya kabisa ni una muatu. So no, na, wasi uji uwa, sayi unga kianga level mental health ya wasi iko, wasi uji, uji uwa tu no. Yeah, so nilikuwa pale kuweka hiyo strength kukuwa na mtu wangu. Misi kumpeleka ushagata kaya na shosho, sijui nini. Atibuwe na home. Uh, Nimekuwa na ye ever since 2020, August. Because we got the road accident 2020, August, date 15. Yeah? Mm. So since then, nimefind hiyo strength. Ija kuwa easy, but imete kare jurona na gode. Eh? So every time I record something like that and post it, yeah? Mm. Kuna sawa na kuwa motivated tu, eh, kama batalisha li manager disa hii, yes, that is how yes. batalisha came, ya. Yeah? Mm. So that is how, nikeka, wana posting uko IG, I have a YouTube channel, yeah. ito Malkia Faustin, ya. Yeah? Malkia is the let, and then Faustin is me, because it was just a family channel, ya. Yeah? Mm. But then, that is how it is. So that is how I found myself kuwa street the social media, and so on, so. And uh, that is why I'm inspiring people, eh? Now, the funny thing, Leo, we were talking about a story, uh, inspiration on the show. Mm. Uh, 
kuligana na story ya, ya Vera we, we don't care if it's true or not mm. ama ni cloud chasing but mm. the fact that uh, anaweza pata courage ya kuongelea hiyo story yake venye inaenda unajua from someone mwenye alikuwa voluptuous yeah, yeah. and everything to say uh, ame kuwa cut short and everything mm. nilikuwa na feel ni kama ni story yenye ni inspiring sana cuz kama ni mse most people was opetaki kuongelea that side of, the, of their life yeah exactly yeah. because uh, people are not proud of who they are yeah that mm. is the thing yeah mm-hmm. but uh, for at least i'm a least in inspiration kwa madem wengine because mm-hmm. you see maybe umepungikuwa kidogo hapa you want mm-hmm. to be so perfect yeah, yeah. god always ana ana wanna create in the most perfect way yeah? yeah yeah so there's no need of such thing so at least encouragement kwa girl child yeah? Yeah. for the first time ata pemi yenye nilishtuka when they took a so i think i think his story yako ina ina come just at the right time yeah yeah because yeah. uh, we are looking for stories and just to motivate people because mm. people are going through a lot right now a lot na si wengi wako able to just come out and speak about it because yeah, yeah, yeah. pia depression ni kibao pia kuna hiyo stigma but they wasewa pendagi wasewa wako na shida mimi nakwambia ukweli cyber bullying na ina kuanga pale juu bro hey. mimi cyber bullying pale <laughs> hey, mimi nipeleka teke lakini wale kubuli ai mimi hey. social media Hey, ni god. <laughs> Abu maybe just a little bit about your story as a bullying. Eh, bullying now iko ya. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mostly hatred inatoka nga ebro ya bro ya. Yeah. Um on TikTok I have a very huge following ya. Yeah? So like na mostly follow so wangu wangu anga madem. Mhm. Wangu anga madem wengine ni like it's just mixed ya. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But uh, cyberbullying is real ya. Yeah? So and mostly uh, say or jui wina to affect Uwe sana. Affect. Yeah, wasi kukosa bro sasa hii mtakwambia kitu social media utaenda kukaa mahali ujiulize. We, ni nini man? Hadi mse I remember I have first most of the most Ebu, harsh ebuni, ambe, maybe just the, the harsh, harshest comment you've ever received because yeah. ninajua lazima kuna hiyo yenye iko ash in your mind unasema eh hey, kwani niliambiwa hivi? Nishaambiwa kwa ndio endi wa kwa ni endi wa kwanza demi yake kukufa ama bibi yake kukufa Kai. yeah and then kuna zile zingine sana zenye zinanudhingi kabisa za mtu hii unapata a very grown up person anataka mtu hii yeah eh, na mtu hii just an innocent kid hata hajui by, yeah, the, by now hata hajui yeah. what's happening wengine hata wajua ngi story ya mtu hii waja wajiona hiyo jani yake but then they are there to you know chekeza maneno hate, yeah. yeah and you find it's very unfortunate sometimes most of the head inakujanga from mothers you know hata wasi bado wajaza unaona mm. wasi bado wajui what life is you know mtu amepata bundles pale kidogo ameenda kwa ana kitu ya kudu their idol just yeah, right in watu wako pale facebook maneno tu mtu pale siji but but i find strength through that yeah, yeah, through, yeah. because if if unapata unajua uwezi furaisha kila mtu mimi najua pesa ndio inafurahisha anga kila mtu mm, okay. but then uh, you find strength yeah because most of the people he, was the wingi who who lose yeah mm. una chiki depression yeah ukangala vile bro sai youth wako very depressed there's no work sai maisha ni ngumu the cost of living it's, it's high it's very hard yeah mm. then uh, if you cannot be a shoulder to lean on on a friend like ule msiu kwa pale ku encourage him say kwa to just saying a prayer you know sometimes it's not a must kwa financial help yeah mm. just, just a word a of prayer a word of encouragement eh hata tukumuulizia bro umeshindaje leo umekula ukweli mm. at least you know huyu msata feel like kuna msana mind mahali someone yeah? is rich eh hey, hey. hey. sasa hiyo ukiangalia suicide blaze imekuwa rate ya Kenya suicide iko so juu so msi unamwambia shida like mimi nikuje kuambia shida zako sasa hii unaweza kuanza kuniongelea unaona that is how people lose their lives yeah mm-hmm. so as for me i mimi wambia say mimi find ile strength mm-hmm. through the vitu yeah njoo mm-hmm. kunanga mti mzuri bro yenye jai gongo ama unaona by the way yeah uh, yeah ndio dhahabu iko hivyo ni bro inapitia anga pressure so far, eh? yeah. yeah ipite kwa hizo vitu zote ndio kwa dhahabu unaona so kama mtu anakuongelea bro inamaanisha uko na something very special to be talked about okay. yeah so at least i'm very happy because people have found ile strength through me yeah? kuna wasi un text kwa social media zangu ya yeah? mm. oh but alisha you know i was losing hope but then after kuna story yako yeah, bro ah, you are very strong yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, at least i've encouraged some of the few people and story atalisha madhime change wasi wengi juu unapata kuna paroma hala na 
wasikia like amechoka na mtu huyo mm. so mtu hii condition yake maybe it i change but akiona penye talisha you know the kid was not even eating yeah mm -hmm. she could not even stand or walk or even talk she was being fed through pipes alikuwa na breath through kwa machine bro sai ako bro ako anaweza fanya kitu yote but sai ukimuona it's quite mm. and very wana, big yeah. yeah so yeah i mean mm. baba bye because that is one thing and i'm very proud about yeah nice yeah so yeah that is <laughs> wow inspiring story i don't know how we get back from that um let's uh, to ingest sasa kwa influencing as a career of course it's not something you had planned yeah, yeah. where well, you were just out there telling people your story but now you found yourself in the in the influencing industry yeah. and uh, what can you tell us about the industry the guiding ropes and everything kila kitu we i'm not a guru in that ni sana but um, as a I'm social proud. media yeah. manager mtu wa online <laughs> tuambie tu uh, as a career inakupelekaje yeah, some of poor. the challenges uh -huh. yeah, poor so unajua ndo ku influencer bro ndo wasi wakae chini wa mwe ni Faustine baba Talisha mm -hmm. unaweza push product yetu ama anaweza push anaweza push business yetu eh? they consider a lot of things yeah you see you might have a very big following and uh, you know vitu kaizo but then kuna niliona mahali msame sama ethics zako ni nini wewe upost mhm wewe unapost unaweza push nini baba Talisha anaweza push nini no no so that is the things that msana anga oh chukwangi tu mseju uko na 1.7 million oja ta msa 5k bado anaweza push biashara mahali ya mm. mtu wa 3k anaweza sell kuliko mtu wa 100k yeah mm. so wao wanaangalia vitu mob sana so as for me I was um, kuna company moja ile ni approach and still tunafanya nao kazi ni ya kuuza vitu za watu hii ya mm -hmm. so very big one within the country ya yeah? so bado sit kuko talisha pia alipoa job huko ah nice yeah so uh, it will like nasema maisha si mbaya sasa maybe we... some day sometime maybe tunaweza kwa kwa billboard mahali ah hiyo yeah. ni something hiyo hiyo ni success story man. yeah so uh, god willing very soon yeah, yeah so yeah so in case kuna influence yote unafaa kuangalia content una post ya yeah? bro hizi kura kuja ngonafanya vitu zingine Uweza advertise kitu wewe mwenyewe hizi tumia. Mm. Yeah, that is the thing because that is a very bad picture to the society. Why do you advertise something you cannot use but yeah. you want other people to use, yeah? You are preaching water and yeah. drinking wine. Yeah, that is the thing, yeah. So to be an influencer, so unafaa kuangalia hizo vitu zote. Don't kuna vitu zenye unafaa advertise zenye wewe mwenyewe unaezana nazo, unaona? Mm. Si tuende pale because unaelewa Mm -hmm. the youth wa potei na wewe mwenyewe uko sawa haya basi tuongelee event yako yenye na come up and uh, why why do we have that event okay so um, uh, as i've said earlier nilikuwa na um, youtube channel ya yeah? mm. youtube channel tulia wazee tulianza na watu mmoja tukakuja hadi tukafika 100k yeah? mm. so um, it was such a very big Maestro. Okay kwa sababu nyingine inaweza kuwa ndogo but uh, kwangu bro mm. mimi kitu kingine mimi sikwa ifikira naweza fika hapo ya mm. so nikamwa eh hey, because of that i want just to celebrate with my fans wale wasame kwa pale kuni hold friends wakuje family wakuje mm. so i'm having that event in it the don effect don ni mimi the don effect the, the don in this in this place <laughs> yeah it was the don effect ni itakuwa on the 16 Palace Great Gardens we are going to celebrate 100k subscribers Sainiko 102 ya yeah? mm. 102 subscribers huko ya yeah? so ni one so 2000 more tangu <laughs> tangu uh, nini ufike <laughs> one, one, one yeah. eh, so tulipokea wa silver button ilikuja mm. and i was so happy if you go to my youtube channel you'll get to see the video we were so happy with okay, the I, i think we have that video pia eh? <laughs> okay but uh, oh, silver I... <laughs> button but tutaicheza tu <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so baby talisha tulikuwa naye pale talisha has been a very huge support to my channel also because most of the people follow me because of that oh, baby yeah and not only because of me i have other people also could a very good friend of mine and robert yeah mm. 
that guy me kwa mimi tangu high school hadi sasa hii if you have that one friend when ashai stick na yeye just need just one friend probably mimi walipotea wase tulikuwa tunajua anga wao tunakuja hapa kiu tunafanya nini nao si hadi wasa hiyo ngine wananiona ga tu huko unaona mimi nakwambia watu wapendi mtu ako na shida nakwambia eh lakini time success inatokea bro atakuwa pale wa kwanza eh mimi vile stress zilinigonga wasa walipotea wote wase kidogo alibaki ah so urafa ku appreciate wale walibaki those people who stick by yeah, you yeah that's why i'm celebrating that 100k mm. na uh, it's just an open invitation anybody mwenye atataka kuja huko wakuje kuna kuna any charges yeah that is 1000 but kordime bo pale mm. watu wanapenda share watapiga kordime bo kwa pale yeah mm. iko pale sa great garden ska ujui penye iko iko pale kiamburo ni nyuma quick mart yeah? mm. so pale nyuma ndio itakuwa hapo the don effect and i'm inviting everyone Everybody ata wewe mwenyewe ukuje huko itakuwa lini nione kama nitakuwa Nairobi unajua mimi ni mtu I travel out of this town easily <laughs> so itakuwa on sunday yeah, this sunday uh, uh, no the next sunday next sunday ah, uh, the nice. 16th na takuwa pale with a lot of content creators wako pale youtubers watakuwa pale social media influencers watakuwa pale tuko na red carpet hadi Ah. Eh hey, for the first time nitakuwa ni event kwa na red carpet. So Na sasa mimi nishatumia suti yangu. Ah. Tafuta ingine bro. Tafuta ingine haina shida. Eh. So itakuwa pale. I think you can just look into the camera and uh, make a formal invite to your people so that we finish uh, the interview. Okay, that's no problem. Hi. Sasa baba Talisha kama kawaida wana anapenda kusema handsome boy and home and away. Mm -hmm. So leo niko away. So I'm just inviting you to my event in it the Don Effect Eco Palace Sacred Gardens on 16th of October. I'm celebrating 100k subscribers. That is a very huge success to me, not because of me, but because of you guys, yeah. Wale wasalienda pale ku subscribe na walifanya tukapata hiyo silver button, yeah. So I'm inviting you to come there and celebrate with us together the baby Talisha atakuwa pale with other content creators watakuja pale kun support pia with other influencers and youtubers tiktokers watakuwa pale so mkuja tusherekea na sisi bana we share 1 2 3 3 then we call it a day so the charges will be 1000 shillings ikoredimebo with one cocktail pale then ta piga sherehe pamoja so mnakaribishwa wazi basi tunakaribisha nyu wote manze usikose uh, for now tunataka tuingie a short break when you come back tutakuwa na Jay London Uh, akituambia about his musical journey don't go anywhere to go to hapa sindio ada sina nguvu kumaliza hii leta we were sincerely anaitwa Susan hii jina nyingine huko ni hii sijui nasema nini hiyo hiyo ndo CEO wa YouTube ya So guys, I have this one here and uh, yeah, it's for you guys because